is some big hair. Go out and rock this and dance the night away, child. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Hello, this is me and Cam. I just wanted to come on real quick and show you my hair before I put my twist in. Um, I just got done working out, so that's why my hair looks beat. Um, I just put my hair in a high bun because it's really um, stretched out. I've been wearing my hair in braid outs and stuff as of lately. Um, when you choose to work out, or if you do, um, you don't have to wear your hair um, only in twists or in um, buns. I also work out with wash and goes too. I just happened um, this week to wear my hair in twist out and braids out, braid, braid outs. But I wanted to show you um, a good way of knowing when your hair or your ends rather should be trimmed or just cleaned up, just dusted. So my hair, when I feel like dusting them or even trimming my hair, I do it better when I have my hair in twist, which is why I'm gonna twist my hair. Um, twist is not a style of mine that I like to wear a lot now because they take so long for me to put in. It takes like five to six hours, if not more, to put my twist in. Um, and at the same time, I'm taking time to trim and, and, and or dust the, um, the ends. So it takes me a long time. Um, but it's the best way for me to get to my ends when I need to get to them. So right now my hair looks, um, yeah, it's extra. <laughs> so I plan on co-washing my hair with the As I Am co-wash. And then I'm going to use my Giovanni conditioner. Um, and I'm going to condition my hair. And when I twist it, I'm going to use my Shea Butter Mix and um, combined with my Paul Mitchell wine conditioner. So if you need to see those products, just let me know and I'll show them. I've shown them in so many videos because they're my uh, go-to products. But a lot of single stranded knots or if the hair feels um, kind of like frayed. It's hard to describe how that feels, but like the ends to me feel rough. Like I'm feeling this patch of hair here. I um, can't really see the single stranded knots, but there are some knots on the very end of the hair. Like right there, that's a big knot. I don't know if you can see it, but it's there. And the ends feel kind of rough. So when I, nor normally when I go through my hair, I'll grab a section. Like let's take this section here. And I'll smooth it in my hand. I'll touch it. And I'll wait to, when it, the hair starts to feel rough. And where it feels rough is where I wind up cutting off. So like if I if I was doing my twist now, I would cut like this much off. Just like the very end for this instance. But it can go, I can go from cutting off just a little bit to cutting off inches um, for a section of my hair. I don't like my ends feeling rough. So I'll cut any hair that feels like it's rough. I know where my hair is. I'm kind of curious as to where the hair is. Um, my hair definitely has thickened in some spots, um, mainly at the crown area. I noticed um, that my hair is thicker, um, but I'm still having issues with the nape. So I'm curious, like, has the nape retained any length? I do plan on doing another length check. Um, I've got asked that question and I will do another length check. I like to do my length checks when my hair is um, in great condition, meaning I've gone through and I have um, eliminated all those single strand of knots and I've got rid of the rough edges, the rough hair, because um, then I feel like I have actual hair that I would count towards a length. So I will do that. Um, probably when I either twist out or even have my hair twisted in, I'll do a blend check for you guys. So um, the other thing I've changed for doing my twist is that I use aloe vera juice now rather than water because I find that if I use water, it makes my hair stay wet longer versus aloe vera juice. So there you go. This is my mane. It's looking rough, but it'd be looking good in about six to eight hours. Great. So <laughs> till next time, love and peace, peace and love, and I'll talk to you guys then. All right, bye. Ooh, this section of hair is gonna get cut for sure.